Hey, welcome to the coin box. So here's something you don't see every day. In fact, this set is the only one like it I've seen come up for sale. And to be honest, I can't find much info online about it either. No pictures, no sales, no nothing. This is a wooden Casa de Moneda mint set with nine coins ranging from five centavos up to the silver core 10 and 20 peso coins. When this set was offered to me for sale, I thought I had seen it somewhere before, so I looked it up in Don Bailey's Encyclopedia of Mexican Money, and sure enough, there it was. Don Bailey calls it a 1992-1993 presentation mint set, and he writes, In 1993, several presentation mint sets were assembled by Casa de Moneda de México. The nine-piece sets were presented, but it doesn't say to whom they were presented. Maybe mint executives? I don't know. But they were presented in a wooden case with Cono Monetario Mexicano, 1993, and Casa de Moneda de México laser engraved on the wooden case. He goes on to specify which coins are included in the set. And at first I thought my set wasn't exactly the same combination of 92 and 93 coins, because in my set they are all 92s except for the 10 centavo and the 20 peso coin. And in the book it says they are all 92s except for the 10 and 20 centavo coins. But then I realized that must have been a mistake, because there is no 1992 20 peso coin, so it must have been a typo, and that would mean that my set does match the dates as described in the book. So why aren't they all 1993 coins instead of a mix between the two dates? That's one of the many unknowns about this set, but depending on when it was assembled, it's possible some denominations had not yet been minted with the 1993 date. Also, keep in mind that January 1st, 1993 marked the beginning of the three-year transitional period from the old peso to this new peso monetary unit. So even though the set contains a majority of 1992 coins, it makes sense for it to be dated 1993 since that's when they were put into circulation. The set is composed of three wooden pieces and two acrylic windows, which I think are really cool because you get to see both sides of the coins that way. So there's the center piece which holds the coins, and then the front and back pieces which are cut to fit into each other. They can slide open, although I won't open it now, but in my last video I talked about the fact that most mint sets can be opened and the coins can be replaced, so that's just something you have to be aware of when buying a set. In this case, I'm confident the coins are original as they all look correct. Now, I said I couldn't find this set online, but I did stumble across this other wooden design with the same inscriptions, which is very similar and appears to contain the same coins. I don't know if it was an official product or not, but the design is really interesting because it looks like once you open it and fold the flaps, they'd support the set to be able to display it, and the engraving would be visible at the base. So it's very intriguing because it's possible that at least these two designs were produced, but again, there's not much info on this one either. In my opinion, the only thing that could make this set any better is if it also had the 1993 50 Nuevos Pesos coin, but I have a theory as to why it wasn't included. According to the blue 1993 mint set, the 50 peso coin was minted at the Legaria mint, but the 20 peso coin was minted at the San Luis Potosí mint. And also, if we take a look at the other 93 and 92 sets, you can see that all the denominations included in the wooden set were also minted at San Luis Potosí. So this set is comprised of all San Luis Potosí mint coins, which might be why the Legaria mint 50 peso coin wasn't included. It's also interesting that this is a Casa de Moneda set and not a Banco de México set, like most other sets. In other words, the Casa de Moneda always strikes the coins, but it's usually the Bank of Mexico that packages and distributes the sets, which is why the BM logo is on the packaging. But in this case, we find the MO logo instead. For example, another early set from Casa de Moneda is the famous 1982-1983 proof set. Now, I'm trying to reconstruct the timeline, so I ask myself, where does this set fit in among the other sets at the time? Well, from 1977 through 1989, the Bank of Mexico issued mint sets in these soft plastic sheets. Then, Don Bailey says that around 1992, and I'll come back to this, the Bank of Mexico began issuing mint sets in these hard plastic cases. The bank then repackaged the early series in these hard plastic cases and continued to use them until the year 2000 which is why you can find some older sets in both presentations. This is the blue 1992 set with the Nuevo Peso coins, and in 1993 two sets were issued, one with silver and one without. So we might assume that the wooden set fits between both years. But I find it very interesting that Don Bailey says that the blue sets were first issued around 1992. Since the new monetary unit wasn't introduced until January 1993, it's possible the 1992 set was the first one produced, but that it wasn't assembled until 1993. 
And if we assume the wooden set was created to present the brand new monetary unit being introduced, then it's entirely possible it would have come before the blue sets, and that no sets were issued between the last plastic set in 1989 and this wooden set in 1993. Then, around the same time, or soon after, they would have started producing the blue sets and gone back and repackaged the older sets, thereby completing the yearly series of blue mint sets. If that's true, the wooden set would also act as a bookend set along with the 1995 proof set, one marking the beginning and the other the end of the three-year period of the new peso, which is pretty cool. So there are still a lot of unanswered questions regarding these mysterious sets. Who were they made for or presented to? and how many were made. As is fairly common when it comes to Mexican coinage, there is very little information out there, so if you know something more about these sets, please let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and share it with a numismatic friend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.